In this video, we want to find the acceleration of a box on an inclined plane uh, with friction. So this is a really common problem in introductory physics classes, uh, and sometimes it can be a little bit confusing because of the geometry of the problem. So let's go ahead and look at this and figure out how to do it. So a 4.6 kilogram box is on a ramp with an incline of 45 degrees. If the surface has a coefficient of kinetic friction of 0.18, what is the acceleration of the box? So we already have the angle here on our inclined plane, uh, and we also know that the coefficient of kinetic friction, mu k, is 0.18, and they tell us that the mass of the box is 4.6 kilograms. So let's go ahead and look at the forces that are acting on this box in the directions. So first of all, let's set up our x-y axis. So x-axis in this type of problem is generally considered along the direction of motion, uh, so along the surface of the ramp. And then the y-axis goes straight through the box, perpendicular to the motion of the box. So, so the forces that we have acting here are going to be friction, which is going to be opposite of the direction of motion. So the force of friction points up the ramp. Then, of course, we have the normal force from the surface of the plane uh, going up. This is the normal force, and this is the positive y-axis, and the force of friction goes oh, up the positive x-axis. Then, of course, there's the weight of the box. Now, normally we're used to the weight of something being directed from the bottom of it downward, but in this case, on the plane, it's directed at an angle towards the floor, which is not along the y-axis. So that's the weight. And we're just going to call that mg. And then we have the direction of motion. Now, this isn't the force, but the acceleration is directed along the negative x-axis. So this is our acceleration, which is what we want to find. And we know this is going to be negative because this is along the negative x-axis in this case. So the most important thing to note here is that the angle from the negative y-axis to the weight vector is our angle theta, which is the same as the angle of the ramp down here. So this is 45 degrees. Theta equals 45 degrees. Whereas this angle here is uh, 90 minus 45 degrees, so it's also 45 degrees in this case. But in most cases, when we don't have a 45 degree angle, it's going to be different uh, than the angle of the ramp. So first let's figure out what our normal force and our friction force are equal to and set up Newton's second law for our x direction and our y direction. So the sum of our forces or the net force in the x direction is going to equal the mass times the acceleration in the x direction. Now in this case the way we've set it up our acceleration is only in the the negative x direction. So this is the this is what we'll use to solve for the acceleration. Uh, and then we have the sum of the forces in the y direction equal to zero because there's no movement along our y-axis here. So first of all, our friction force uh, is generally equal to mu times the normal force. So what is the normal force equal to in this case? So the normal force is going to be equal to the y component of our weight, just because that is the force pushing back up from the surface onto the box. So what is our y component of our, our weight here? So that would be the component of the weight along this negative y-axis here. So as we can see, our angle is adjacent to this vector. So, so that's going to mean that our y component of the normal force is going to be mg times cosine of theta. So now we have to plug this back in to our friction. Normal force is mg cosine of theta, which means our friction force is mu 
times mg cosine of theta. And then we also have the x component of mg, our weight. And that is going to be mg sine of theta. This is technically the opposite, opposite side of this triangle from the angle, so it's sine. So let's go ahead and use our x components of these forces and solve for the acceleration then. So our x components of our forces are going to be the force of a friction, which is in the positive direction in this case, minus the x component of our weight, which is mg sine of theta. So this is going to be equal to mass times our acceleration. And as we just said, the force of friction is equal to mu mg cosine of theta. So mu mg cosine of theta minus mg sine of theta is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Now our mass occurs in each of these terms, so these will just cancel right out. And that just means that we have an equation that is equal to the acceleration here. So we have a x is equal to mu g cosine of theta minus g sine of theta. So that's going to be 0 0.18 times 9.8 meters per second squared times cosine of 45 degrees minus 9.8 meters per second squared times sine of 45 degrees. And that is going to give us an acceleration in the x direction equal to negative 5.7 meters per second squared. So that's how you would find the acceleration of a block or a crate or a box on an inclined plane. Uh, it's, it's, it can be a little confusing to break up all of these components and figure out your normal force and your friction force and the fact that the friction force kind of has like two embedded forces in it, the normal force and the weight. So hopefully that was helpful and let me know if there's any other types of videos you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching.